Hello. <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. My darling, you're awake. Uh, I don't think I can get enough of this. That sweet little innocent face of yours. So petrified, terrified, submissive. Oh, darling, the questions will be left unanswered for a while. Not until I'm ready to get to that point. You don't know who I am, huh? Honestly, darling, I'm a little bit surprised. Oh, no, no, no. You will not leave me. I hope you know that, and that you understand your place here. You're mine. And I don't care what you say or what you do. <laughs> A long time ago you made me this knife. In hopes of loving me unconditionally. You said it reminded me that I was protected in your arms. You said that even though the hunters would come for me, and that you would love me. Are you still up for the challenge, my darling? <laughs> As they say, blood truly is thicker than water. And you might have to pay this price with yours. You betrayed me, and there is no way to come back from that. My heart has been plunged into eternal darkness. I would never have shown this side around you. I'm not delusional. <laughs> I'm not ready to get angry yet. Every single time I run this knife down my hand, my fingertips, they bleed. <laughs> And every time they bleed, they heal because of what I am, because of you. Why can't I bleed like a normal human? I long for that feeling once more, to feel the blood that dripped down my arms. But. Your blood will just have to do, darling. I already collected a lot of it. See, I don't understand why you can't love me. I am perfect for you. Loving, caring, nurturing, protective. Dominant. And you're my little submissive. Because you'll be doing as I say. When I say it. Do you understand me? Good. 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 Fukodane. <laughs> Fukodane. 
Oh, I don't think I'll ever get you out of my mind. That's why I couldn't put killing you as an option. You brought me so many victims. So many people for me to feast on. To keep me alive so that you could love me and keep me away from those pesky hunters. Yet... You fell in love with one of your victims. Why? What did they have that I didn't? <laughs> now, now, now. Why on earth would that even matter? See, it doesn't matter. It's never going to be important. Because I'm important. I am your reason to live. You belong to me. You're mine. Whatever you try to do, every single time you try to escape, I will cut you over and over again with the blade that you crafted me. You will know my pain my suffering, and how my heart breaks every single time you look at another person as if they're better than me. I can't breathe around you. I get so flustered. You're already cut and bruised and already injured up pretty bad. Sure. That's what happens when you try to run. You try to fight back. See, I could always just use the manipulation techniques that I learned. Hypnosis. Convince you that I am your everything. That... <laughs> that you're mine. Darling. What did I mean when I said, Oh, <laughs> you mean Fukodane? Fukodane? <laughs> it means that you're my poor, unfortunate soul. Because no matter what you do, you're not leaving here. Sure. Now I'll still protect and love you and try to heal a broken heart. But you will never, under any circumstances, look at another girl again. You even so much as lay an eye, bat an eye in their direction, and I will carve them out. Do you understand me, my love? Good. See, I'm very caring. Charismatic is the best way to put me. You made me this way. I was a lone wolf. That was turned by an experiment that your people created. And yet they treated me like an outcast. I still don't seem to figure out why. Why create something just to destroy it? And then you showed me love, kindness. You told me I was yours. And then you left me. I waited there for you. I waited for you. Four years and five months. You never came back. You never came back. Just like everyone else, you vanished. I was alone, watching the days go by. Rain. 
snow. Every season, on a loop of repeat, a repetition of the mind. Yet you never came. You never showed up. Here is an apple. As you could say, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Knife. And here would be your eye. Now. There we go. This would be your eye, if you ever look at someone else again. Now eat it. Come on, darling. Say, ah. Uh. <laughs> There's a good boy. Already following orders. <sighs> Are you still hungry? The thing I like about apples is how easy it breaks into the skin. Look! <laughs> this one looks like a broken heart. Don't you think? Maybe this one's for me. Hmm. <laughs> These are very good. These flow with juices. Slowly running down my throat. Only if it was your blood instead. Hmm. Then it'd be a lot better. So. What do I do with you now? Let you go? <laughs> Continue to love you? No, no, no. <sighs> you can have the rest. I'll feed it to you. I can't seem to stomach fruit. Yeah, not when it's not mixed into meat. And you might just end up being my meat when I consume you. In a way, it would have been cannibalism due to you being a human and I used to be. Eat. Good. You caused me so much pain, yet you run from your problems. Why? Why do you run? Why do you hide? Why did you stalk me to begin with? I would have been fine without you. Eat. Good boy. You promised me you would love me. That you needed me. Well, I can't let the juices go to waste, can I? You can have the rest later. Tell me, what is it like to be able to hear music 
Whenever I listen to anything, it's distorted in my ears. Nothing ever sounds correct anymore. It's like the bridge. The bridge of my last fall. You brought me so many gifts. And then you left me. Why? Why did you leave me? Where are we? Well, why would you need to know that? Do you think you can get out? <laughs> I have my chefs outside cooking for me. <laughs> It seems that a lot of people want to worship what I am. They think I'm some kind of god. Some sort of a... Uh, goddess sent down to save them from the petty humans in this world. So they cook my meals and they clean and they do as I ask of them. They brought you here. <laughs> Come on, darling. You must know by now that you're never getting out of here. We're in a secluded cabin in the forest. Uh, can you take a guess what side? Come on, you're really intelligent. You must be able to figure this one out. <laughs> We're at the side you'll never escape from. There's your hint. Ah, <laughs> you got it. Good, good boy. I'm so proud. You're not as dumb as you look. Which means I can roll out that one. I really did hope that maybe you were just dumb and didn't realize the girl was flirting with you. <sighs> Dinner is being prepared for this evening. I hope you're prepared. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, you'll be forced to eat it. No matter whatever you do, I'll ram it down your throat. <laughs> the little girl you cheated on me with? Well, she is the one on the menu. <clears throat> well, no, because a woman doesn't take another person's man. She's but a stupid girl in my eyes. And you're a stupid boy. But I'll make you into a man. I'll make you consume the one thing that broke my heart. I'll make you consume your mistakes. You will wallow in it. You will fear it. You will embrace it and you will be haunted by her ghost. Forever. <laughs> You'll never escape. Instead, you'll want to die. But over time, I will convince your mind otherwise. I'll convince your mind that you need me. That you want me and only me. You'll never get out of here. No matter whatever you do, darling, you're mine. Whether you like it or not, you're stuck here. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I don't think it's such an unworthy death. You get to sleep in my thighs all day if you really wish. And we can keep reciting the lines that... That is... I love you. Forgive me for what I've done. I love you until your mind truly believes what you're saying. 
I need you to believe that you love me because you do. But you need to fully see that I am the right option for you. You are mine. You don't have an escape. You don't have a home. You don't have love. You don't have cherishment. My heart has been so broken by you. But I will repeat that cycle. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. I'm yours. <sighs> it's like music to my ears that isn't so distorted. <sighs> I tried so many ways not to become evil. I tried to hide this form of myself from you so that you would love me. But the thing is, is after time, after being so alone, after cutting me apart over and over again, I realized this is me and I won't change. I can't. My heart is too strong, strong with emotion. The way I feel love is so different from everyone else. It's like it rips me apart. I can't help it. Sure. Sure, there is times that I wish I could help it. Sure, there is times I wish everything would stop. It never seems to happen. Everything seems to get worse. I don't know what to do anymore. My heart is so overwhelmed. Your blood doesn't make it any better. I kept the vial you gave me when you gave me that necklace that day. You helped me and caressed my cheek, my love. I promise that even when you're scared, even when you're alone, I'll come back for you. I'll never leave. You're my only thing that keeps me alive. Even your letters, the poetry you wrote me. You were mine, and now you are gone. <sighs> Why? Why couldn't you have just loved me enough to want to be around me? Why you had to go through something like this? Do you realize how cruel it is to string someone along, convince them that they are loved, just to leave them again? Sometimes I wish you could suffer. Sometimes I wish I could show you how, how to really suffer, how to really feel what a sadistic bitch like me could do because that's what you call me now when you run away when I came to see you that day and I saw you with her my heart shattered into a billion different pieces I went away that day in the rain I tried to pick them up I fell to the ground and heard the music overwhelm my ears, banging my fists against my head, wishing it would stop and the aching would go away, but it never did. Even the glass that I dropped was my heart. I did really try to pick it up piece by piece. I didn't lie. I mean, look at my hands. 
They're covered in scars. Just from trying to pick them up. I really tried. I didn't want to have to resort to this. The side of me was so... Buried. It was dead. And you broke me. Because I trusted you. You convinced me. That you loved me. And you still convince yourself now that... <sighs> that there could be another way. I'm sorry, darling. There isn't going to be another way. There never is. I won't allow it. You're mine. Forever. You belong to me. You belong to me. You belong to me. A repetition of words is the only way to get you to understand. That's how you learn. Rewriting it down on a page. Over and over again. But you never erase. You keep going. And you push through it. Love is hard. And this is as I'd like to truly believe it. Is a hardship of love. You got eyes for another? Fine. Then I cut them out. You must have eyes for me. Your eyes are mine. So is your soul. You forget that I'm not human, my love. <sighs> Use pathetic humans seem to think that you're everything, that you're the strongest, worthiest, but you're so fragile. <laughs> See? <laughs> it really is funny to me. That's just one scrape and you're already bleeding. The knife isn't even that sharp. It barely penetrates me. <laughs> I'm already getting slightly lucid. I'm not gonna lie. I may have took some things to help me with my pain. The effects are just wearing in now. Breathe with me. Most days I struggle to breathe. I get self-conscious of it. I don't want to be like that anymore. I don't want to be able to feel. To dig my claws into the world and feel something other than pity. <laughs> Oh, darling, you must be so pathetic to think that you are actually in love with her. Did you really think she loved you back? She didn't. And I know she didn't. Because <laughs> after I cornered her and tied her up and tortured her for uh, four days straight... She gave you up within not even five hours. Everything about you, saying that she didn't love you and she was sorry and that you were just a one night thing. But to me, you're not. <sighs> to me, you're not. And when I heard that come out of her shitty little mouth, I cut it out. Simple as that tortured her for days. I allowed her to feel so incredibly alone. 
You're mine. Mine alone. And I need you. You must know by now that I'll never hurt you. That I love you. And that I'm always going to be here for you. <sighs> My heart is broken. Most of the time I can't open my emotions. It's so hard and complicated. But now is one of those times where I have to. Or I need to dig my emotions out. I need you to know that you're one of my problems. You broke me and I just, I just don't think you understand. I don't think you ever will. I just don't feel correct. I feel lucid and out of it and tired. This has been into months in planning. With no sleep. I suppose that's what makes me a little bit crazy. I mean, luckily I'm a little self-aware, yet I don't care. Mm, morals would say that what I'm doing is horribly wrong and that I should let you be happy. Trust me in a way I do. But I can't watch it anymore. I can't watch you walk away and be happy with someone else, darling. You have to stay with me. Whether you like it or not. Because at the end of the day, you're my poor unfortunate soul. Your life is mine. Mine is yours. Every day we will spend together in eternity. I will find a way to make you like me so you will understand my pain. Your mind will only think of me. We will go out on romantic dates, moments of true passion. You will... <laughs> you will love me completely. You'll show me what it's like to be consumed with love. I remember when we first met. You stalked me. You were curious by what I was. You slowly fell in love with me. And then you disappeared. You lost all emotional ties. You lost interest. But you promised me you'd marry me. That you would marry me and love me. That you would cherish me forever. That isn't a fucking option. You will love me. You will treasure me. Marry me. And have children with me. Spend the rest of your life with me. <laughs> In return, I'll be the best wife you'll ever have. I'll be your everything. You'll want me every single second of your breathing life, I suppose. Even in your death life. Because you'll never die. Well, technically you'll die if you become like me, but you'll get to live forever. Honestly, I'm not sure if I can still have children, but I would really love to try. You should eat more. <laughs> Open wide. We can eat this one together. Ah. Mm. 
<laughs> Such an obedient little boy, aren't you? <laughs> Who's a good boy then? <laughs> This makes me very happy. Well, you haven't eaten anything in the last two days. That's why I assumed that you died. Mm hmm. Eat. Well, in about an hour, your little muse will be devoured. Have you realized yet? Why the apples are red and why they're so juicy? Mm -hmm. Have you figured it out? That weird taste to them? <laughs> Well, you realize I'm a wolf. I normally couldn't stomach anything of the sort. Unless... <laughs> I think you're getting it now. They've been soaked in your girlfriend's, or, sorry, Muse's blood for a very long time. It would make them taste so incredible. Now, now, I'm not going to hurt you for a long while. Well, you're already pretty banged up as it is. But right now, you're mine. For a while, you are mine. <sighs> now, and you must be so tired. Oh, I know you just awoken. But I need to go help the chefs cook. I have a few special plans in place to make sure that you truly enjoy your stay here. Don't you think? Don't you think that you could learn to love it here? To be with me, darling. To love me. Cherish me. Consume me. Huh? Oh, now, now, now. Come on. You must cherish me. For I will be your wife one day. I'm not here to rush things. I'm here to love you unconditionally. And for you to do the same to me. You do love me, right? You want me. You need me. No matter whatever you do, you're never gonna escape. So, you might as well just accept your fate. My eyes. <laughs> You'd be correct. Technically, the emotions that I'm feeling are very different due to the mm, outrageousness of these emotions, my eye color changed. I'm enraged yet so flustered and passionately in love with you. I want to hurt you yet I can't bear to. I want you to feel the pain that I felt but I will never harm you. Maybe I will. Well, not too bad anyways, but just enough. I need you to feel what it is like to feel consumed in pain. I need you to fall in love with me so I can break you. And then have you fall in love with me all over again. Like it was supposed to be. Like it should have been. All the times we spent together, you played with my ears, 
kissed me passionately. We went on picnics. <laughs> you promised me that you loved me. Why did you lie? I feel like I'm a repeating record now. Because you'll never answer my questions. Not the way that I hope. So my fantasy will stay the same. Fantasizing everything is just my only way of living. Is it not? <laughs> oh, darling, you sure are so cute when you're pouting. Mm, you shouldn't pout like that. You don't want to anger me now, right? Do you really think you deserve anything after what you did to me? Huh? I hope that you don't. You don't deserve anything. You hurt me. Someone that cared for you. That loved you. That worshipped you. When you were supposed to be worshipping me. You are a cruel man. And I'll never forgive you. You broke my heart. And I'm so broken now. Today was a good day, though. I found a lot of things that I missed about the human realm. Well, when I kidnapped you. Oh, I almost forgot. Even if you did escape, you'd have nowhere to go back to. Everyone you knew is dead. Uh, I wasn't joking about there being people out there. I have my own sort of a cult, in a way. I think you humans call it. Well, they murdered everyone. They took what they wanted. And I took what I wanted. You are mine. <sighs> I need you to stay. Forever. You'll never leave. Even in this fantasy. Do you understand me? Good. Good, good, good. Now that you're listening, it makes me so incredibly happy. <laughs> As I said before, Ukodane, Ukodane. <laughs> you are mine. You will never leave. And if you do, I hope you like pain. True pain. Because you will feel it endlessly until you can't breathe. <sighs> Do you understand me? Good. Now, I'm gonna go get the things ready with the chef. Do you think you can stay here for me? Do you think you can be trustworthy darling I hope you can <laughs> I'd be very angry if you tried to leave do you promise me you'll stay you'll stay here and behave good If I hear a noise out of you, you don't have to sleep, but you will be down here for another hour. If I hear a noise or that you trying to escape, hmm, you might be the next thing on my menu. Do you understand me? Good. 
as long as you do. I'm not here to play games, darling. You are here for a reason. You betrayed me. And you will suffer for it. Your crime is punishable in many ways than one. Also by death, if you choose it to be. Do you choose it to be? Do you choose it to be death? <laughs> Good. Well, that would be pretty boring now, wouldn't it? Having you choose to be deaf. I remember the first time we kissed. When you were in my arms. Telling me that you didn't care that I was different. You just wanted to love me. <sighs> As I said before, it really does feel good to cut into my fingertips. <sighs> A feeling I hold dearest to my heart. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it. <clears throat> Question. Do you have a favorite snack? Well, I don't want you to get too lonely here. I should probably get you something. Like a snack or something to keep you company. Maybe a teddy bear? I mean, you've been a very good boy. Maybe I should get you a teddy bear. Do you think you need one? <laughs> hmm... You think you're a grown boy? No, I don't think so. A uh, grown boy would never have cheated on me. Betrayed me. No, no, no. <laughs> I might get you one. Hmm. But what will I make it out of? I need a good hide. Hmm, do you know what? I could make it out of the little plaything you had upstairs. After all, I did skin her. I could. Be very, very fun, wouldn't it? Do you know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'll make you a perfect teddy bear. So you can truly be in contact with the ghost of your mistakes. And probably one of your greatest mistakes. <sighs> one of your greatest mistakes. <laughs> oh, it's so priceless the look in your face. Do you think I'm joking? I'm not. Oh, I can assure you I'm not. I never joke. You know that by now. Don't you know me? I'm not here to play a game. Whoops. I'm sorry if that cut your hand open. Not really, but... <laughs> sure. I'm a little bit clumsy when I'm tired. Plus, I'm also very hungry. And you're not you when you're hungry. You know? I already can imagine eating you right now. But I'm very... Got a lot of composure. So I'll be kind about it. Do you understand? Good. Mm. I'll be back shortly. You stay put for me, okay? Be a good boy. When I do come back, you'll be dragged upstairs, where I will make you a perfect meal, and you will eat it. After that, I can describe a few more things to you that you might want to know. Things that you should probably know about what happened in the village the day you were taken. <laughs> well... 
I'll see you soon, my darling love. <laughs> Fukodane, Fukodane. <laughs> Don't ever think of escaping. You'll never make it out alive. Goodbye, my love.